Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Um, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. Um, I was going through my DVD collection today. I had the day off. I had nothing to do. Um, I went through like 12 boxes of DVDs. Like, I don't know how many fit in the box, but there's a lot. Um, I, I picked out the ones I think that should have at least a Blu-ray release, if not a 4K release. Um, so these movies are still stuck in DVD hell. I guess you guys, some, someone said that before. I just stuck with me. So I'm going to go over a few titles. I'm not going to do all of them today. I think I have like 50, over 50 titles. So I'm going to split them up into different videos. I have horror here to my left, your right, or yeah, my left here. And then everything else that's not horror. So it's about half and half total. So... I don't know if I should go a little bit here, a little bit there, or just stick to certain genres. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna split. I'm just gonna split up during genres. So this stack here is gonna be non-horror. So I'm gonna start off with the movie that I enjoy growing up. Not a lot of people did, or it's like half and half, I think. So from 2001, put out by New Line. So I believe that's Warner Brothers. Um, don't know if they still have the the rights to this movie, but I want to go with Sugar and Spice. This is a snapper case. I do have a made-on-demand Blu-ray, um, custom-made Blu-ray, if you will, from a certain company. So, I mean, I like the artwork on the disc. I just think it needs to be in HD. So... Uh, this was directed by Francine McDougal, and it stars um, Melissa George, Mina Savari, Marla Sucks, I can't say her last name, Sokoloff, uh, Marley Shelton, and James Marsden. So good cast here. I think it deserves an upgrade. Uh, one of my favorite Robin Williams films that doesn't get a lot of praise um, this was uh, from 1992. This is Toys. Um, it's been a long time since I've watched this, but you got Joan Cusack, Robin Wright, LL Cool J is in this. This is a very Levin, Levinson, Levine, Levinson, as I say his last name, film. Uh, he went on to do, I believe, actually he did The Adams Family before this. And then I think he did Men in Black, if I'm not mistaken. This is a this is one of Robin Williams like weird movies, but I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. This is uh, Disney, so you're not gonna see this come out at all. Maybe Sony, maybe Sony will release it. Maybe I'm got my got my fingers crossed here. Uh, this one here is a Columbia Pictures, so I guess Sony Sony owns this now. Uh, this is from two thousand. Yeah, 2000. I watched this like last year, the year before last. It's still, to me, it still holds up. Stars uh, Mina Savari again, Jason Biggs, Greg Kinnear, uh, and that is Loser. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this film. I remember renting it from one of my local um, uh, video stores here back in the day. Um, I bought this used, obviously, because I would definitely take care of my my movie is better than that. I'll have to change the case. I got plenty of spares. Uh, yeah, even good artwork on the disc with uh, Jason and Mina. So, love this movie. Uh, another movie that came out in 98. This is a John Waters film that also gets kind of overlooked. It's got Edward Furlong, Christina Ricci, and Martha Plimpton, Lily Taylor, and that is Pecker. Um, this is another Snapper Case movie on DVD. Uh, it does have special features in here too, believe it or not. It's got um, audio commentary with John Waters, um, a snapshot gallery, cast and crew biographies, filmographies, original trailer. So you don't really have a whole lot on here, but at least you have an audio commentary with John Waters. So they could probably reuse that. Maybe interview him now. I don't know. 
but I, I really, really enjoyed this movie too. Uh, one from my childhood. I remember watching this all the time. I believe it was on... It was on like regular TV like back in I obviously edited. Um, I watched this movie before I watched the next one, but they're both stars are in it. So this is Kid in Plays, Class Act. Yeah, uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, maybe Warner Archive can put this out on Blu-ray. I know they've been doing a lot of upgrading lately. Um, I know they put Joe's Apartment out on Blu-ray, which if Joe's Apartment gets a Blu-ray, why doesn't Class Act have a Blu-ray? So... I really enjoy this film too. Um, I mean, you got, you even have um, Polly Shore in this film, which is crazy. Uh, Rhea Perlman, Dougie Doug, uh, Karen Parsons, love her in this film. So, yep, class act. <sighs> uh, like I said before, can't have one without the other. And I don't know why this one doesn't have a Blu ray. This is like, the first film i mean the other the sequels you give or take you can take them or leave them but uh new line warner brothers why don't we have house party on blu-ray i haven't opened this obviously but house party needs a blu-ray too uh this one does not have any special features it says it does but it doesn't you get both wide and full screen versions the trailer filmographies and then surround sound so Nope, no special features there, so. Uh, this is from, what year is this from? They use Roman numerals. It was definitely early 90s, but yeah. Uh, this one, I remember I picked this one up at... I know it was, uh, this is a black, former Blackbuster rental, and I think I actually bought it when I, when um, GameStop was actually selling uh, DVDs. I know Movie Stop was too, but we didn't have a Movie Stop around here, just GameStop. So I picked, I remember picking this up, and I thought it was hilarious. This is from 2004, and that is the perfect score. Um, really, this is one of, um, Scarlett Johansson's, uh, Chris Evans, and Erica Christensen's, one of their early films, not necessarily their first. Uh, this is a Brian Robbins uh, film from, well, it says 2003, but it was released in 2004. So this one actually has special features. Commentary from the director and screenplay writer, the making of the trailer. So it does have a making of and a commentary, so we can definitely throw that on a blu-ray right uh this one's on a lot of people's lists unfortunately it's 20th century fox so disney owns this one too uh i remember watching this on tv many times this is a david spade film directed by hart bachner and and that is pcu yeah this was a this was kind of a funny film i think it was a little bit before my time well it, it was i mean it's not before my time but I was probably too young to know, figure out what the hell was going on in this uh, college uh, comedy film. 1994, I was, well, I was nine, so maybe, maybe. But yeah, I like David Spade. Um, you get commentary with the director and Jeremy Piven, behind the scenes featurette, and a music video by Mud Honey. So that's, that's cool. This is a flipper disc, but it's got the insert in this, and it's got the. The scene selection on the back. If you guys enjoyed PCU, let me know down below. Um, I forgot to pull one of the other uh, films that I need to talk about, but it's another probably short film. But it's Son in Law definitely needs one. I have the DVD somewhere over there. I packed it away accidentally. But we're going to talk about Encino Man. Uh, this is another uh, Disney-owned film, but I think Sony might be able to put it out. Maybe this is a Touchstone Pictures release. This is a Les Mayfield film. Uh, I think it was 92. This doesn't have a date on there, but I believe that was 92. 
Uh, again, Brendan Frazier, Polly Shore, Richard Mauser, Sean Aston. It's about a uh, caveman, uh, frozen caveman. They found him in the backyard and <laughs> all the other nonsense that happens during the film. Definitely need want that one. Uh, this one's on everybody's lists. Uh, the next, the next two anyway. Uh, we, I grew up watching both of these films. So the first one here is obviously "Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead." We're getting a remake, and it looks like it's going to be complete trash. So uh, hopefully they at least re-release this on Blu-ray to push the the new movie. Maybe hopefully, because right now I only have this DVD, and I have a bootleg, an MOD Blu-ray. I think it's. Yeah, it's right over there. It's over there on the second shelf. So we need one for sure. You better get on top of that or else Rose will get you. Not really. She'll just... She's too nice. Uh, this one here, like um, this one here, uh, Dennis the Menace, Walter Matthau. Um, and then Christopher Lloyd, obviously. Um... Lee, Leah Thompson, I forget the kid's name in this movie, who plays, okay, uh, Dennis the Menace, it's actually his name is not Dennis in the movie, it's uh, Mason Gamble, no, that's, no sorry, that's, that is the kid that plays him, I, I mis, misread that, yeah, Mason Gamble plays Dennis the Menace, uh oh wow he actually he won the role over twenty thousand other boys that's interesting to say the least um you get a lot of special features on here too um a tv special making a feature at uh 10 years later with mason gamble conversations with walter Matthau and john hughes this is a nick nick castle film so you could probably interview him about it you interview the shape for the movie. Uh, this one here, uh, I like this movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it though. This is a New Line, so Warner Brothers release uh, from 1994, starring Thora Birch, Christopher McDonald, and Harvey Keitel, Mimi Rogers, and that is Monkey Trouble. Uh, Trying to remember what this movie is about because I, I used to watch it all the time as a kid, but I just don't really remember much about it other than the fact that um, Monkey escapes from its owner and Thor Birch's character befriends it and they become inseparable and things happen. Monkey trouble. Uh, this one's also on a lot of people's lists. This is another Warner Brothers release, so come on, Warner Archive. Uh, Curly Sue. Um, Allison Porter. I don't really know what happened to her after this film. I didn't really look it up. Um, should have done that before I made the video. James Delushi, Kelly Lynch. Uh, this is a John Hughes film, so we need more John Hughes films on Blu-ray. Uh, next one up is what movie one's favorite movie at least one of his favorite movies one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid because what movie one and i both were kind of bigger uh bigger kids growing up so we kind of related to the main character in this film and it is angus uh hell of a soundtrack too by the way um charlie talbert plays angus kathy bates plays his mother and got Chris Owen in here as well, George C. Scott. This is a Patrick uh, Red Johnson film from 1995. So Warner Archive has it on DVD. Just released the Blu-ray. With the TV cut as well. Uh, this one was on Mid-Level Media's um, list of things that need to be put on Blu-ray, I believe. Yeah, I think it was. I think I remember watching it on his channel. Uh, this is Jack, another Robin Williams film. 
very emotional film because he has a rare, his character has a rare disease where he grows up too fast. And yeah, it's, it's quite sad toward the end, but, uh, I don't know. This is a touchstone film, uh, Disney, Sony release. Um, it's got Diane Lane, Jennifer Lopez, Fran Drescher, and uh, Bill Cosby in it. So you never know what that entails. With legal battles with um, Bill there. Uh, this one I always talk about. Um, now and Then, really good, solid, coming-of-age film. Um, from 1996, I think. I think it says 96 on the back. Maybe it's 94. I don't know. Really good film though. I really enjoyed that film. Mostly the more the more so the kids part than the the grown up adult version of it. But I like I like the coming of age story in it. Uh, this one was a really good movie too. This is put out by 20th Century Fox, so Disney, uh, and then Sony acquired it. So maybe they'll release re-release it. Uh, we got Slums of Beverly Hills with uh, Alan Arkin, rest in peace. Marissa Tomei and Natasha Leone. Leone, Leone, how do we say her last name? Really great actress. Uh, special features, there really aren't any on here. You get the trailer, scene selection. But this is a really good coming of age movie from the 19th. It takes place in the 70s, growing up in Beverly Hills. This is a Tamara Jenkins film from 1998. Uh, I do enjoy, I, I like that artwork better. This one's okay, but I think I like that one better. So that one's that one's a good a good choice, and personally, I think so. Um, I know Melting Movies One picked this picked up the Spanish region free blu-ray of this film we don't actually have a release here in the in the u.s this is pink floyd's the wall this is the old dvd uh, i guess digi book pack so really really messed up movie and i kind of watched that at a very young age and i was like what the hell is going on but it's basically about this guy named pink floyd going through growing up getting mistreated by his parents by uh the teachers and then there's you know the war going on too so it's very strange very strange um the next two are movies that are actually you know, there's quite a few here movies that people probably don't remember or they have forgotten or they just don't know them not familiar with them uh, I watched this one last year and I really enjoyed it. This is a Lionsgate release, so maybe they still own the rights to it. I doubt it. It's from 1996, starring a very young Monica Kina and Daisy Egan. And that is a movie called Ripe. It's, uh, it's about these two girls who or with their parents and the parents die in a car crash instead of them sticking around for the cops they they uh, bolt and then they start their own lives growing up uh going from place to place and they they're trying to get to kentucky and they um they come across this handyman uh they take advantage of him uh, one of them falls in love with them and the other one's jealous so the other one decides to um yeah she uh she becomes a very dangerous individual i'll leave it at that really good movie highly recommend you guys check it out and uh lionsgate i would love to see a blu-ray of this i probably will never see one but i would like to see one next one here is an hbo video release of a film from 84 Five, I think that's when this came out. This is an Australian film, I believe. Yeah, Australian film called Fortress. Uh, it's about this uh, school teacher. She's you know teaching her kids, and then the group of uh, masked gunmen take over the school. 
and just wants to transport them to the countryside and then they have to fight back to save themselves and the teacher really good really intense movie um yeah fortress uh next one here is an action thriller uh, directed by Jim Lin uh, Wynarski, so I know a lot of people think his directions or his directing isn't very good. Uh, he's had a, a few questionable movies over the years from, from what I've seen, personally I've watched. But this one's really good, this one is from 1997. Um, we don't really have, we have Matt McCoy in here, but that's the only name that I would recognize, if anybody would recognize. Um, we got The Assault. Another snapper case here. Um, so you're basically, it's a fight for survival type movie. Um, I see, it's kind of like Die Hard, which it kind of is, but it's not. It's not like it's. It doesn't take place during Christmas. That's for sure. Um, so it's about a, de a detective. Uh, she thinks that she's babysitting a, a witness. Um, she's like, it's going to be a boring assignment, but no, they, the drug lord finds out where they are and they're trying to get revenge or whatever. It's, it's a really good action thriller. Personally, I think so. Uh, no special features on here from what I'm seeing. No, just a typical screen, screen print release. Um, but yeah, these, these, the women in here are definitely kick ass. So the assault. Uh, this next movie is uh, always, um, people think it's a horror film, eh, it's not. It's like an action, vigilante, revenge type movie. It has to do with like greed and greed as well. This is from the creator of Third Rock from the Sun in that 70s show. Uh, this is from, I think it's from the 80s. It doesn't say, it just says the re-release dates on the actual DVD. Um, we got Funland here. Yes, it has a clown, but it's not a horror clown. It's just a uh, a guy doing. He's a, that's a, that's his job. He's a he's a sorry, he's a performer at the amusement park. Um, the owner dies, and his shares. Oh, sorry. His the the owner the owner does die, but he's um he's uh, killed, and these people want to cut costs and, and, uh, all right. So the, the family, yeah, the family buys the owner's shares and they think they, they have them killed before that. And then they don't care about the profit margin. They only care about the profit margin of the park. So they want to cut costs and remodel the rides to a less family oriented format and the the guy that plays the the character of the, of the clown doesn't agree with that and they i think they fire him and then he takes his revenge on them really really good movie i think personally it's been a while since i've watched it uh this one i really enjoyed this is like this was during the time where everybody was trying to do their own um version of a quentin tarantino film uh this one's really good though this one's from 1994 as well as uh pulp fiction and this is love in a 45 with renee zellweger and kill bellows uh roy cochran is also in this this is a really good movie i i really want like to see a really a, a blu-ray release this is put out by trimark I don't know who owns Trimark or who who acquired Trimark, but the soundtrack's really good too. Uh, you got some really good names there down below. Uh, yeah, I don't know who who owns owns Trimark, but you got some you got some uh, releases here that looks like they're now owned by Kino, so maybe Kino can really re-release this. Because you got uh, The Best of Times and The Big Easy and I mean you have The Dentist 1 and 2 but those are those are Vestrons 
So which owned by Lionsgate. So either either company could definitely put this out and it would sell, I think. Uh another Paramount release there that really needs a Blu-ray, like really needs one. This is a Nicolas Cage movie from 1999, uh, directed by Martin Scorsese, uh, Bringing Out the Dead. I really remember enjoying this film when I watched it back in, it's been since 1999 that I've seen this, but I kind of remember what it's about. But uh, yeah, yeah, we definitely need a, need a re-release of that one. All right, I got three more guys and we're going to hit under half an hour, so... Uh, this one I really enjoy. This is probably one of um, Alice, Alicia Witt's first films. It's got Renee Humphrey as well from 1994, I believe, as well. This is a, a movie called Fun, and it's not fun. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that. This is a um, fun friendship love murder. Basically, it's about um, these two girls... Uh, they refuse to center any motive other than fun, challenging their adult um, uh, inquisitor, inquis, inquisitors to defend a society that offers them no voice, no understanding, and no love. Um, yeah, they're crazy. You get in their way, they will kill you. Um, I don't think I don't, or they go to like a like a psych ward, or they get locked up. Yeah, it's it's messed up because they're definitely pointing guns at each other's heads. Yeah, they their their mental health is definitely not there. But really enjoyed this film, so I definitely recommend somebody release it on Blu-ray. This is put out by Spectrum Films, which I don't know who owns that the uh, rights to that. This is a Raphael Zelinsky film. Uh, this is next one here is like Natural Born Killers. It's uh, with Edward Furlong and his ex-wife Rachel Bella, and that is Jimmy and Judy. Yeah, they don't get along anymore. He's there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, really good movie. Like I said, it's kind of like Natural Born Killers. Uh, that's all I'll really go into, but really good movie. This is an Anchor Bay release. Uh, this movie is from 2006. And it does have an audio commentary with the director. Uh, with both directors. There's two directors. The cinematographer. There's deleted and extended scenes. And two different trailers. So... And then the last one here is definitely interesting. This is the Amando Macabro release, which hopefully they, they will re-release it on Blu-ray. Fingers crossed. This is a Indonesian film from 1988. It is in English, though, so you don't have to worry about, about subtitles. This is uh, Lady Terminator. Basically, this is like a sci-fi action film. Uh, it's about this, uh, this Asian goddess known as the Queen of the South Sea. She possesses the body of a young female skin diver, and she's armed with an AK-47, and she has endless supply of bullets, and she will hunt you down and kill you. It's just an over-the-top action film. So that's it, guys. That's everything so far that I believe should have a Blu-ray, at least a Blu-ray release from said companies I just went over. Now, I'm sure there's quite more movies out there stuck in DVD hell that I need to go over, but I probably haven't watched them yet, or I just bypassed them. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with me on anything that I just went over, or if you have any other suggestions that should be upgraded. So thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long, but my next one will probably be about the same. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys take care and see ya.